Having a blog post is important for every website. Do this right and all your blog posts will be discovered when people search for them in the Google search engine. The problem is most of these page builders out there do not make it easy for us to customize our post grid. So in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to create a blog post grid using the PostGrid Pro plugin. All right, let's get started. So what I've done ahead of time is I've gone in and I've created these four blog posts. For this example, I'll be showing you how to do this using WordPress. So what you wanna do next is to come over here to plugins, click on add new, and then over here, you wanna search for post grid. So here it is, it's the first one, uh, it's the one by Radius Theme, and you can see here it's been installed on over 50,000 websites, and this has a lot of um, uh, reviews. Next, I'm gonna click on install now, and then you want to go ahead and activate. All right, so now I'm in my settings area. So the first thing you're going to see is uh, this notice here to improve our performance, which is great. So what you want to do now is to choose how this is going to be applied. So if you're using Elementor or Gutenberg, this is what you need to select. If you want to use shortcut only, you can go ahead and select this one. So in this case, I'm using Divi, so I'm going to need to use shortcut only. But if you're using Elementor or Gutenberg, there's actually a uh, module for it. And I'll show you in a moment how that works. All right, so now that I've chosen shortcut only, the next step now is to uh, hit save changes and then come over here to all grids. So this is where we want to go in and take a look at our grid. So I'm going to click on add new. Now before we can go ahead and create our post grid, there's a few things that we can uh, just take a look quickly here. So there's the pop-up field selection. So this is where you can go in and uh, check or uncheck uh, these uh, areas here, these fields. But at the moment we can't go in and do anything because we don't have the pro version. Next we also have social share. And again, uh, over here we need our uh, pro version. And we also can add some custom script here. In fact, let me just get rid, of, get rid of this. So we can also add our custom script. And then finally on other settings here, we can actually go in and uh, change our primary color, secondary color, preloader color, and so on. So this is where you want to add your colors that work with um, your color palette. And then finally, over here, we have our template class, which is the pro version as well. Now, there are so many limitations with uh, the free version of the plugin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and install the pro version. Now, I'm also going to leave a link to that in the video description below. So let's go ahead and do that by coming over here to plugins, click on add new and then I'm gonna click on upload. Now, I already have the plugin, so I'm gonna click on choose. Okay, so it's in my downloads folder. I'm gonna double click on that, click on install now. Next, we're gonna click on activate. So finally, I need to enter my license key, so I'm gonna click over here, come over here to uh, plugin license, and I'm gonna paste my license key in here like that and click on save changes. Excellent, so my license now has been activated, so now we can go in and create our grid. So I'm gonna click here on add new grid, so straight away, you can see on our post type, not only do we have post and page, but we also have projects, which is fantastic. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we wanna scroll through here and see uh, any uh, changes or settings that we can do. So uh, over here, we have taxonomies, we have categories. So I wanna make sure that I'm able to choose uh, my uh, categories. And if you use tags, you can also use tags over here. So these are the categories I have. I have latest and I also have farming okay so these are the two categories i created beforehand and they will show up here which is fantastic all right so over here if you want to show the author the status and so on you can also add that but what's really cool is we can already see a preview of um our grid here. This is really, really cool. I mean, no page builder out there has this option here where you can see this. And I also like uh, this animation here. So as you're making changes to this, you can actually scroll down and have a look at the preview, which is pretty cool. So um, now let's go back to the top here. Now let's go to layout settings. So over here, you can see we have different options. We have the grid here, so I can select it. And I have now the opportunity to choose these different layouts. So there's this one here. I think this is the one that we just saw is the default one. Now let's scroll down and have a look at that. And you can see this is what it looks like. Now you notice that we have three. We can actually change the columns here. So I wanna say four columns. And in the tablet view, I can choose how many I wanna have. So if for this, I wanna have two and then one for my mobile view. So when you scroll all the way down here, straight away, I can see all my four right there. All right, so let's further customize this so I can show you how easy it is and how uh, this is really amazing. So we also have this uh, grid hover, okay? So when I click on that and we come all the way down here, 
this is the layout we have. And we also have the grid cover or the grid hover one. Okay, I'm going to select on that. And now notice what happens when I hover over here. Look at that. So this now covers up the whole image, but there are different styles that we can play around with. Now let's go back over here. So I notice now we have um, this uh, grid hover 15. This is a new one. And uh, if I select that, let's see what happens here on the bottom. Look at that. This is pretty cool. So when I, so it has some tags here, all the categories, and it also has the hover effect. So as you can see, there's so many layouts that you can choose from. We also have this one here. It has one big one and two on the side. There you go. So look at that. So there's so many ways you can go in and customize this. But what I'm going to do now is I want to go with a layout that is uh, pretty straightforward. So um, we can also do a list over here, which is fantastic. So the layout I'm going to go with is a basic one. I'm going to come over here to grid. So I'm going to go with this basic one here and then show you what else I can do. So again, I'm going to come back here, set this to four, and then I'm going to come to settings. So over here on the settings, we can actually go in and style this. So here we have a default style. So we can go with style one, style two, and so on. Uh, we also have the alignment set to default, but if we come over here, I can align this the way I want. And this is for the short code heading, okay? So this is set to heading two. Now, if I come over here uh, on the category, it's asking me now for the position, and right now it's on default, but I can set this above the title like that. And if I scroll all the way down here, you're going to see now farming here, which is the uh, category is above the title. So we can go in and customize this however we want, which is fantastic. So the style here, and then we have style one, two, and three, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. We also have an icon here. Now I'm not a fan of this icon, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I can now take a look and see what this looks like. And it looks okay. All right, so moving on, we also have settings here for the title. So here it's on default, but we can go in and set a title limit and we can also limit by uh, character or by word. Okay, moving on, we also have the meta here. So I'm not really a fan of the meta here. So if, you're not, if you don't like it, you can always uh, remove it here, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now. We also have the hide featured image option. So if we want, we can hide the featured image, but we're gonna leave that as it is as well. We're gonna scroll all the way down here. Now we have our except here and our except limit is 15. So as you can see here, there is uh, more that we can do here to set everything up. Now we also have the alignment here and this is for the read more button. So the cool thing here is we can actually go in here and uh, name this uh, whatever we want. So we can say uh, read article like that. And now it doesn't say read more anymore. So you can see here it says read article, which is fantastic. So the alignment here is set to default, but we can center it. Uh, we, we, we can do pretty much um, all sorts of stuff here. So you can see I've just centered it. So let's just uh, leave it at default. Now let's move on and let me show you more customizations here. So we have field selection as well. So here is where we can uh, remove or add the things that we can show on this, um, on this uh, grid. So we have social share. So let me see what I can remove, comment count. So I don't need that, so I'm gonna remove it. And right away, you're going to see that it has been removed. Now, I also need to remove the author. Now look at that, the author now has gone. So I just have the dates and how many views this has had. So it is post view count. I can remove that as well if I don't want uh, that. But you know what? I'm gonna leave that as it is because that looks pretty cool. All right, so as you can see now, this is starting to take shape. So the next step now is to go into the style. And this is where you can set your primary color. So if you have your colors here, you can go in and uh, you know set your colors here like that the gutter and padding, if you want to add that, we can, we can also add that. And uh, the overlay color here, we can set this over here. So overlay color, now let's take a look. Now there are so many settings that we can go in and customize on this uh, plugin. So here on the button, we can also set our button color. So let's go ahead and use this one here. And we can also set our hover color. So let's just use that and make it a bit lighter like that. We can also set a border color, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Our uh, shortcode heading, so you can see here, we can set our colors pretty much on every single item here in our plugin. So I'm really curious to see what this looks like. You can see here that uh, this has worked. If I hover over this, you can see that this 
now hover color is working. So this read article, I may want to change that and set this to white. So that's my button text color. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna scroll back. So I wanna set this to white. And even on the hover, that's fine. I'm gonna set this to white. And when I scroll down here, you can see now this is now white. Okay, so let's say I'm pretty happy with this and this is going to be my layout. What I need to do now is to copy uh, this uh, short code and paste it on my page. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top and here it is. I'm gonna copy that like that and then I'm gonna hit publish. Now let's head over here to a page and uh, let's say add new. So let's call this page uh, grid. And for this, I'm gonna use the Diffy Builder. So for this design, I'm going to build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building. So I'm gonna go with single column. So this is where I'm gonna add my title for, for my page. So I'm just gonna call this, in fact, I need to first add my module. So let's just call this my blog. And we're gonna set this to heading two. Now, so we're gonna to go to our heading font here and set this to Poppins. That's my favorite font. Select that. And over here, I'm going to set this to 3EM. I'm gonna make it all caps and I'm gonna set this to bold. All right, so let's go ahead now and uh, save this. Now let's go into our section and we're gonna go to our section background here and let's add an image in the background by coming over here to the third tab and clicking on this plus button. So I'm gonna go with uh, this image right here, upload image, and then I'm gonna add an overlay. So I'm gonna come over here, add my background color, and then back here on my image, I am going to set this to multiply. All right, so now I can just add a bit of transparency here by just dragging this down ever so slightly. And then finally, I need to come over here to design, sizing, and uh, let's add a minimum height here of um, 50 VH. And then all I need to do is to just make sure my text here is uh, set to white. So I'm gonna click on this um, paintbrush icon and set my color to white. And we may also need to increase the size. All right, so we're gonna save that. And now here's the moment of truth. This is where now we're going to go in and add our short code. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button. We're gonna go for a regular section and we are going to go with a single column like that. Right, so in here, we're going to add our text module. I'm gonna select it. And now I'm gonna paste my short code and save. So I know you're probably thinking, okay, so why is this font here not um, consistent with uh, the rest of the font on my website? Well, that's easy. All you have to do is to come over here to um, the module, click on design. And then what you wanna do is to uh, head over to text and change your font here from uh, default to Poppins. And just like that, this is now updated and now it's looking great. And if you want to increase the size, you can always come over here and increase the size to customize it. But you know what? I'm gonna keep things very simple. I'm gonna set this to one EM like that and then save. Now, if you want to increase um, the size here of uh, this row, you can come over here to row settings, design, and then go to sizing and you can set this to 80% like that. And now it's slightly bigger and then you can save. Look at that. Now that's looking much, much better. I'm gonna save this and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so in the first example, I showed you how to use this in uh, Divi. Now let me show you how to use this in Elementor. So just like before, I've gone ahead and installed it. So what we're going to do now is to customize the settings. So this is what it looks like by default. So now I wanna do something a bit different here. So on the layout settings, I wanna choose a slider this time. So I'm gonna select slider and uh, the carousel slider I'm gonna go with is, so there's quite a, a few to choose from as you can see here. So I'm just gonna go with um, this one here and let me take a look at what it looks like here on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much okay. I think I'm happy with that. So for the social media icons, this time I don't want to have them. So I'm gonna come over here and all I have to do is to uncheck the social share because I don't want to have that. And right away, you can see now that it is gone. All right, so um, I also want to get rid of, uh, you know, all these uh, meta, uh, meta tags. So let's go ahead and remove that. And I don't need the categories. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave this as it is. I think it's cleaner this way. All right, so let's say this is uh, the setup I, I'm, I'm happy with. I can give this a title. So I'm going to say um, grid one like that and then click on publish. So now I can go to pages and then click on add new. So there's two ways to do this. I can either use this in uh, Gutenberg or I can actually uh, use this in um, the builder itself. So notice that right away we have post grid right here on the top left. So if I click on this, I'm going to get even more options of layouts. Now look at that. So this is a free one. Uh, this is a pro version. I can import this straight away if I need to use that. And you can see here, there's so many different types of layouts. In fact, you know what? Why don't we hit preview so we can have a look and see what this looks like. So right away, you can see that we have a beautiful layout here. And uh, this is what we get with the post grid. Look at that. Pretty cool. Okay. So we are going to go back. We're going to close out of here. So, uh, so when you have Elementor, you have the option to see all these data uh, layouts and also the pre-made sections as well. So these are the ones that you can just go in and straight away uh, import. So let's say I click on import here. Let's see what this looks like. So there we go. So this is my actual uh, grid that I created and this is uh, the default. So if you're not happy with that, you can just click on it. And then over here, you can just uh, remove the post grid just like that. But the really cool thing here is we have these templates that we can work off of. Okay, so let's say uh, we name this uh, grid like that. Now, I'm still in Gutenberg here. If I click on this plus button, I now have this post grid. Do you see that? I can click on that and this is now going to be added onto my page. I'm going to select my uh, option here. Now, if you want to work in Elementor, you can just come over here to edit with Elementor. I'm going to say OK to leave the site. Now, the integration here with Elementor is really, really awesome because right away we can see here that we have all the layouts here of the post grid. So let me just add my uh, layout here. In fact, before I do that, I noticed something really cool. If I click here, you're going to notice now that we have our starter layouts as well, as well as the pre-made layouts right over here. Blog, I can just choose blog here and look at these layouts that we, uh, that we have. So we have this option of adding it over here on this blue button. Okay, so let's say we want to uh, use our own uh, layout. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to come back over here and look at that. This is our post grid. And these are the different options that I have. So I'm going to use this basic one here, drag and drop it just like that. And look at that. I can now choose the layout from within this. So let's say I want to go with uh, these two different types of layouts. As I click this, you notice that this is actually changing the type of a grid that I have over here. Look at that. So everything is changing. If I choose this one here, you can see that everything is changing. And I really like this one here. It's pretty cool. But anyway, let's keep this uh, simple. I'm going to keep it here. And over here on the columns, I can actually go in and customize the columns. If I want three columns, I can go in and set it to three. And right away, you're going to see that we have three here. And I can even set this to two like that. And now we have two. All right, pretty cool. So you know what? We also have an option here of uh, equal height. Or we can uh, set this to grid. I'm going to leave that as grid. And then over here, we also have our query build. So I can choose this by categories. So let's say I only want to show uh, the shoes category. I can just select that. And this will only show just the shoe uh, category. If I want to add more, I can just click on this plus button. And I can also add the latest. So we can have uh, this blog layout on different pages showing different categories. So as you can see, this is a very, very, very powerful plugin. And I really like the way it integrates with uh, Elementor and uh, also Gutenberg. Okay, so let's move on here. I mean, we have quite a lot of uh, customizations here. But honestly, I actually prefer to make my customizations over here in, uh, in Elementor because I also get to use even more options as I'm building this. Okay, so let's say you want to uh, make this mobile friendly. I can just click on this. I'm gonna come over here to my columns and then choose my portrait. So already I can see what this looks like and then I can say, you know what, uh, let's go to my uh, mobile and automatically this has converted to just one post. So this is a really, really powerful. And the fact that you also have these pre-made layouts really makes this plugin 
very, very powerful. All right, guys, let me know what you think. I have a link to this in the video description below. Check it out. And this is going to transform the way you build your grids for your blog post. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Take care.